Hi guys, I'm back. I'm here to check out Only Murders in the Building, episode um, 3. Uh, I'm really enjoying it so far. I predicted the bird would have something to do with it. I mean, it was pretty obvious, but you knew the bird. Maybe you knew who did it, or uh, recorded some kind of scenes to who did it. Uh, it reminds me of that bird from the Flintstones movie with Jeff Goldblum, where the bird could tell the truth of what happened to him and how he got uh, conned into um, taking the fall for that other guy. Um, that's basically the case, but obviously a little bit better than Flintstones. Even though I enjoyed the Flintstones, don't get me wrong, it's not the best movie, but, you know, a couple of beers and some popcorn and you're watching with the kids, you happy days. Um, Besides the point, but yeah, I, I think it's going to get good. I've, I've enjoyed the two episodes so far. Um, it's moving at a quick pace, which is quite quite good, um, because the last one was a little bit slow. But this one's, you know, got step by step by step. It, it keeps going, um, and it's throwing some twists, twists in there, which is great. But uh, let's have a look. Listeners, who killed Bunny Folger? Fuck off, Oliver. No, you fuck off, Mrs. Gambolini. <laughs> you said you know who did it. Who did it? What? It's just perfect that Bunny had a pet as obnoxious as she was. Hey, that's my maybe half-sister you're talking about. Yeah, explain that to me one more time. Well, it's simple. My dad maybe slept with Bunny's mom, and that potential sex could have been unprotected, and that possibly unprotected potential sex could have resulted in a half-sister I never knew until it was too late. Are you done? Please say yes. Yes. Great. No. I kissed Bunny on the lips. You did what? what? Yeah, it was at a Christmas party, and we were saying goodbye, and we were just going to kiss each other on the cheek, but we missed, and we were on the lips, and we had had a few eggnogs, so we kind of got into it, and then we just stayed there and uh, sloshed around a little bit, and that's not so bad, right? Can you deal with this, please? Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, we have two options here. I slap you across the face and say, snap out of it. Do that one. Or we just skip to the part where you say, thanks, kid. That was tough to hear, but I needed it. Uh, not the slapping one. Cool. Who did it? Who did no, it? No, I wanted to God, slap you're one. the most difficult animal I have ever directed. Parrots are interesting. The, of the elephant man with the real elephant. Oliver, <clears throat> have you tried talking to her as if you were Bunny? Why would I ever... Voice. <laughs> Mrs. Gambolini, why the fuck am I dead? No, no, that's dreadful. You're missing the smile that doesn't reach the dead eyes. This won't take long unless you make it take long. This won't take long unless you make it take long. Yeah, but we're doing Bunny. Oh, Listen to this. Geez. Oh, if you're a goodness. murderer, stop murdering. Yeah, well, hey, I had we need to start making progress here. All right, what do we know? Bunny was killed with a knitting <laughs> needle and a still missing knife. Her last words were 14 and savage. We saw Bunny that day. Ooh. Oh, okay, that's, that's very good, okay. What will your last day on Earth be like? It's a good question. Will it be like any other? Or will it point to it being your time? As we recreate bunnies, we hope it will take us to... Hey, I'm wearing bunnies glasses. Suspects. Bing. And please, dear God, not the subway. <laughs> hey. What, she knew already? As board president. Oh, all right. Bastard, you tricked me. You tricked me good. Oh, so this is gonna be our, we can see what happened there. That'd be cool. Will it will it show the murderer so we know who the murderer is and they they have to find out? That'll be interesting. You could play it that way where the audience knows, but the characters don't. Or you could go the other way where nobody knows. Or unless you figure that out because you know. oh, well, that meme, whatever. Um, yeah, that one. Don't know where it's gonna go, but it'll be interesting to see. I bet you she's a nice person, but it's being mean on purpose for something. Parts for laugh. <laughs> of course I'm kidding. 
but no. Serving you. It's been one of the great honors of my... <clears throat> I told you, see, she seems nice. But, you know, if you're a board member or whatever... See me cry. They're, um... <laughs> You gotta be tough if you're president, especially in a big building where everyone thinks they, you know, they know better. Places on the planet without winter. Yeah, right. What's going on over there? We reached the basement and I immediately identified the problem. I said, Mabel, the ductwork around the downflow furnace has been tampered with. Quick, flip the damper and detach that hose. Huh? I just remember you saying thing a lot. Like, put the thing on the thing and then the thing and the thing. <laughs> Oh, and Charles, how was it doing battle with your girlfriend? Oh, well, to be honest, there wasn't so much thinking. That was probably the poison. As doing. Women in positions of power. No, God, Mar no Makes Mar sense. Do you have a permit to sell those? Uh, I do not. Commercial sales are prohibited from the Arconia without a board-issued permit. Non-compliance will result in a public flogging and a fine of $20. The rule is written in 1912. We should update that. I don't know. I like the vlogging. Yeah. Nina, walk with me. Oh my god, Nina's It'll gonna be, be worse, isn't she? Tomorrow. Don't worry, I'll keep giving him hell. I think she'd be a good replacement. <sighs> don't have it here. <laughs> That's but if your point. water does break, Mop is in the window closet, second door from the stairs. I know. <laughs> Let's get these to their new home where they belong. Why is she still wearing heels? I mean, they look really nice, though, but they look painful. Aren't you coming? No. I've got my things to do. I'll see you at the board meeting. Florida? Really? You? Why not me? Why can't I try life as a snowbird? I have a cousin in Tallahassee. And? Hey, he sweats a lot. He's got a fungus in his armpits he can't get rid of. <laughs> Is that your cute way of saying you don't want me to go? No, go. You know, I have a key. Maybe I'll go into your place and wear all your stuff. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. You're gonna miss him. Okay. I'm this way. You need friends when you're older, man. Hello. Oh, it's you. No, I do not want to talk about the painting. Oh, no. Not coming. And not my friend. That was probably the guy I was calling her. The fuck does she know about that book? She's window. an actual witch, that's why. She's an actual witch? <laughs> Go. Thank you, Ivan. That's for the food. And then I went over twenty percent. Holy shit. Oh funny. Uh, that's too much this time. No one else who needs it. Come on, take it. Get yourself that DJ equipment you wanted. Okay. Thank you. And make me a promise. Don't let yourself only love one thing. Because if you only love one thing and then that one thing goes away. Yeah. Yeah. Well, freaking fucked. Then you're left with nothing. And that sucks. Oh, are you asking for more iced tea? 
Finally, he hears me. I knew she was a nice person. Not all people in power are nice people, I've got to be honest, but um, some people, especially in this situation, similar situations, they have to be mean because, you know, they'll get rolled over, taken advantage of. That means oxygen. Calm down, bro. Funny, you're a badass. And I thought I was a cranky old bitch. Yeah, I knew I'd regret that. <laughs> God, what will we do without you? Well, you could find out very soon. <laughs> you know what I just realized? I fucking hate the heat. <laughs> You're done. <laughs> That's so harsh. <clears throat> yeah, I told him it was too much. Hello? Hello, Howard? Come on, say it. Bunny seemed upset that we moved the cage, but Mrs. Gambolini needed to be at the party, right? You're a very lonely man, aren't you, Howard? No, no. Excuse me. So, Amy... Sh about all my decorations. So, Amy Schumer's renovation... Oh, uh -huh. shit. We had a plan. Today's your last day. This was your decision. You said... Howard, what did she say? Mm. At November's meeting, you, wearing a fuchsia number, said... Don't quote me from the minutes. <laughs> Howard. I can't do this forever. We should pick a new board president. And I think Nina Lin is the person best equipped to carry on my legacy. And I still think that. But not yet. We rushed this. There's more I can still teach you. Why is this so ready? And why don't they have like a pad Last or something? Last piece of evidence. <clears throat> Howard's minutes. Okay. Who do we think killed Bunny? Well, we well, know that she threatened like to our super fans, who I love. They're just a little off. You never want to upset a fan base. She also threatened to fire Lester, but he thinks that was just a joke. Ooh. A little upstairs, downstairs. It's a possibility. No. You said you saw her at the pickle diner with the brochure of Florida. Was she going on the run? Was she meeting a lover in Florida? No. What? We missed the lover angle in season one. I'm reaching. And lastly, she went back on her word and wouldn't give the board presidency to Nina. That feels like a biggie. We need to find out more about Nina. So, that gives us a new prime suspect. Ooh, did the pregnant protege make a pernicious power play? Wow! I Pernicious. Fire. Good word. You know, I really think that I've leveled up since Tim's murder. <laughs> Level two. Boom. But the result was the same. Yeah, come on. I am. Uh, don't think I've said it yet. So, thank you. Ah, oh, Bunny, you're too kind. Oh, and we, we have a gift for you, too. Um, there you are. Your very own merch. <laughs> Try it on. She's wearing it when she got stamped. <laughs> the last thing I want from you assholes. Oh, come, come on. on. Try it on. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Already looking classy. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, Ooh. funny. Yeah. You know, it's actually quite fetching. Huh? I was at Woodstock, you know. <laughs> oh, groovy. <laughs> well, thank you for the bubbly. And you get home safe now, you hear? Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Why didn't they invite her in? Wait. Yeah. Do you think... Yeah. Did she want to join? Yes. No. <laughs> wow. Guys, just open the door. Did not peg Bunny for a win. We have to invite her in, right? Well, we can't now. It's so out of pity. We have to. So? 
That's what she needs. Hey, buddy. Was that her house? Was it not? I guess everything's okay then. What if she comes back, though? Maybe we move this party somewhere more private. To the roof. <laughs> to the roof. <laughs> We at Only Murder <coughs> did not kill Bunny Folger, but there's a chance we could have saved her life with a simple act of kindness. Jeez. That's guilt right there, man. She made a move and you rejected it. Shoes. It's all about the shoes. And one... Right, so that was episode three. It was a good episode. I really enjoyed it. I knew Bunny was a bit, uh, well, it felt like she was a nicer person than she let on. Most humans, most people, uh, tend to, um, well, hopefully, most of them tend to gravitate towards niceness, and they want to be, they want to be, um, you know, loved um, and things like that, as 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 normal people do. Uh, unfortunately, depending on their job. Uh, or position, um, you know, they can't act that way in public, just the way it goes. Uh, if you're president of a board, condos, anything like that, any high position, you're always going to have people gunning for you. It's just the, the nature of the job. So you have to present yourself as a badass person, mean, you know, no scruples, left unturned, you know, cutthroat, bitch, as they say. Um, but when in fact you're actually not, you just, you know, I mean, she was born into, she was like born into it because her mother was the board president. And she became the board president. If her mother wasn't the board president, maybe she would have been, she would have had friends in there, corn, uh, corn, uh, Arconia. Um, and she would have had a maybe different life. But being board president, she had to set the standards and adhere to the standards. And... As everyone knows, everyone, and I mean everyone, tries to get away with stuff. It's as simple as that. It's uh, human nature to try to take a shortcut. You know, if you're going around a lap and there's a shortcut, you're going to take it. Um, and then if you're present, you're having to stop that and get, you know, death threats and all that stuff. That's just the nature of the game. Um, which, unfortunately, she's put ahead of her own personal... Uh, things she had that one friend that seemed like a friend it's they seem like decent friends but other than that she really didn't have anybody she was trying to make a connection at the end because she knew she was going to lose the the presidency anyways so she needed to fill that up with like she said something else to take care of or be a part of you know you need more than one thing that you love because once you lose that one thing you got nothing else to fall back on. And that's what people, you know, in retirement, same thing. If, especially if they love their job, loved their job. You know, when you retire, that's that's a big, big hole to fill. <clears throat> so, yeah, I really enjoyed the episode. Um, it was good. I don't know who murdered her. My, th my initial reaction is probably one of the board members. Now, they focused on the shoes. But that could have been a trail because the lady was wearing high heels. She could have switched to jeans and, you know, flats like a guy's shoes. Easy, you know, that's easily done. Um, the shadow looked like... It didn't look... Um, you know, she wasn't towering above her. She was just a little bit higher. Uh, she was wearing some kind of mask because there was no hair on the shadows or anything. Obviously that would give away things. Um, some kind of hood, maybe. But yeah, it was interesting. Um, 
but uh, so the main suspect now is um, I forgot her name, Lynn. This is this Lynn? I think it is Nina. I'm just gonna call. It. I think it's Nina. Um, yeah. So that was that. I enjoyed that. Really, really, really enjoyed that. Can't wait for the next episode to come out. Um, and I like getting a little bit of glimpse of uh, Bunny because that's it was nice to see that you know even though she you, you're in the first season you were all like oh, she's a bit she's a bit iffy she's just mean she wasn't actually mean um, and she cared for people that you know showed her respect and cared for her as well even though they were caring for her because she was asking them to you know if if they did her good service she was equally appreciative. Of the service they did and as she did with that waiter um she could give him money back you know money as as a reward for being being nice to her or even though you have to be nice in that job you know you can't raise your voice can you know, you're doing your job but you know you don't have to be stuck up or anything like that you can just be nice and help her and that makes a difference t to so many people especially if you work in like that kind of um customer service you know being nice and actually being nice pretending to be nice and and, and being nice you know sincere, sincerely being nice um it's a big difference especially if someone's struggling and you know that quick smile hello or hopefully you're doing well it does does go a long way to relieving someone's heartfelt pain if they're feeling that way but yeah Good episode. I liked it. Have a good one, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. It is bloody hot over here, man. I am sweating my balls off. Not really, but um, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. But um, have a good one and uh, like and subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.